Friday. Mm. So, starting off Friday with Old Crafty Hen. 6.5% says vintage ale. I'd describe it as a nut brown ale in style. Very nice. But the point of this video is the unboxing or unbagging. I was approached by Knife Tex, who said that he'd been approached by another YouTuber who wanted to send me a gift as a surprise. He said this YouTuber was American, had a couple of thousand subs, was somebody who I already had a rapport with. And on that basis, I said, fine, give him my address and we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you what's happened now. So this is what happened. I've got a package from Kevin Bacon. Kevin is um, a very nice chap. His channel name is KB Bacon. I'll put the link below, but if you... Um, look for the channel name Kevin Bacon you'll find his son Kevin Bacon 2.0 as he calls himself who's also a very talented chap so Kevin has sent me this um, because we have to put customs declarations on the front it does spoil the surprise a little so I do have an idea what's in here but I've covered it up for the purposes of the video now, we've got a pull tab on the back, so I'm going to see if that works. Oh, that's a spectacular fail. Let's have another go. Right. What's inside? Tube. So, let's see if we can get in the tube. Right, so I've got the tape off one end, and I think I've broken the seal on the other end, so I should be able to just push the contents out. Let's have a go. There we go. Ooh. Now. We've got some kitchen paper there. Wow, have a look at this. This is um, a pen that Kevin's made himself. Now I believe, I may be mistaken, but I believe all the metal parts are bought as a kit. But then the two wooden bits, uh, Kevin's made himself on his lathe. He's a very talented um, craftsman. And that is lovely. I think this is the pen that he featured in a video which he called the Jim Pen. Because I'd made some comments about the different styles of pens he'd made and the different woods he'd used. And if you remember this is white oak for the top half. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the bottom half is this lovely red cedar. And Kevin picks out pieces of the red cedar that have knots in because they make a lovely pattern and a contrasting colour. Now, quite often, if you try and work a piece of wood that's got a knot in it, it will break up in and around the knot. But that has stayed absolutely gorgeous. I'll see if I can get some proper close-up photographs of this. I don't know if it's coming across on the video. But that is absolutely lovely. Twist action. Very smooth. Thank you for that, Kevin. That is really, really nice. I love it. I do like a slim pen. I don't like these big, chunky, easy grip pens that's 
just like holding a big sausage. I like a nice slim pen. And that is absolutely gorgeous. The two colours, the two grain patterns, and then the gold coloured highlights. So I'll see if we can get some decent um, close-ups for you to have a proper look. And thank you again Kevin, I really appreciate that, it's very kind of you. It's a lovely piece of work. Thank you. And thanks for watching.